Welcome back. Union Power Minister M. Virapa Moli has said that the CAG report on coal block allocation will have no impact on the power sector. He opined that the central auditor's assessment of national laws of more than 1 trillion rupees and holding the UPA government responsible for the same was not right, as the coal ministry took the decision in accordance with the law. The minister said that the UPA government was in no way linked to the decision to give away coal blocks without competitive bidding. Senior BJP leader Uma Bharti has said that she will burn down the first retail shop that comes up after the introduction of FDI in multi-brand retail in the country. She said that she was also willing to go to jail. Criticizing Assam Chief Minister Tarun Gogoi's decision to support the 51% FDI in multi-brand retail, CPIM said that any attempt to introduce the concept in the state will affect both farmers and consumers. CPIM State Secretary Udav Parman voiced that Gogoi has supported the center's stand without going into the details regarding cost-benefit analysis. Amid the protests over the government's decision to cap the supply of subsidized LPG cylinders to six per household per year, Food Minister K.V. Thomas is learned to have written to Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, suggesting a slap system with a marginal increase in prices for extra cylinders. While the government had decided that extra cylinders would be sold at the full market price, Thomas has suggested the, that the government should increase the price by only 50 rupees for each of the next six cylinders. लोकतांत्रिक व्यवस्था में सबको सुझाव देने का हक है और यदि कुछ छह से कुछ स्थिति बढ़ सकती सिलेंडर और सब्सिडाइज रेट पर मिल सकते तो अच्छा होता लेकिन इस ऑप्शन पर निर्णय लेने वालों ने अवश्य विचार किया होगा और नहीं लिया जा सका होगा इसीलिए छह की लिमिट रखी गई है हमारी पार्टी एक लोकतांत्रिक पार्टी है डेमोक्रेटिक पार्टी है और उस पार्टी में सुझाव देने का अधिकार है लेकिन अंतोदगत तो फैसला लेती है अब देखिए आज ये आर्थिक सुधारों की आवश्यकता जो हुआ है ये जो आज इसके सिवा कोई उपाय नहीं था क्योंकि जिस तरह से अंडर रिकवरी पेट्रोलियम प्रोडक्ट से ऊपर पड़ रहा था एक लाख चालीस हजार करोड़ की और हम सब्सिडी डीजल पे केवल एक लाख तीन हजार करोड़ की दे रहे हों तो मैं समझता हूं कि सरकार ने सोच समझ करके ये फैसला लिया अन्यथा कोई सरकार क्यों कोई कठोर निर्णय लेना चाहती है बीजेपी लीडर प्रकाश जावड़ेकर हैज कॉल फॉर ए नेशन वाइड शट डाउन अक्रॉस द कंट्री as a mark of protest against the government's uh, decision to fuel price hike and opening of retail sector to foreign supermarket chains. People are not full. People are very uh, angry about this decision. Their demands are three. Withdraw the capping of LPG gas, withdraw, roll back the diesel price hike and withdraw the decision of allowing FDI in multi-brand retail and for this the whole country is protesting on 20th of September by observing Bharat Bandh and I think that will be a great democratic protest ever India has witnessed. Apex Transporters Body All India Motor Transport Congress has called for a 24-hour token strike from tomorrow midnight against the recent massive hike in diesel prices by the UPA government. The AIMTC President Malik Singh Bal claimed that 75 lakh trucks will go off the roads due to the token strike all over the country. He said that they had given a 30-day time to the government to take back its decision, failing which the transporters will resort to an indefinite strike. To economy now, India's annual consumer price inflation picked up in August to 10.03%, driven by a rise in food prices. India's retail inflation is the highest among the BRICS group of emerging economies, which is Brazil, Russia, China and South Africa, and is way above what the Reserve Bank of India calls its comfort level. The RBI left interest rates unchanged on Monday despite big-ticket reforms by the government last week and said that its primary focus remained fighting stubbornly high inflation. Moving on, 2611 Mumbai terror attacks convict Ajmal Kasab today sent his mercy petition to President Pranam Mukherjee. Kasab's plea has been filed through the Arthur Jailer. Earlier last month, the Supreme Court has re had rejected 
Kasab plea to commute the death sentence handed to him by the Bombay High Court to life imprisonment. The two-judge bench had also rejected Kasab's contention that he was not given a free and fair trial in the case. Kasab is the only terrorist caught alive during the 26-11 Mumbai terror attacks in 2008. Ajmal Kasab is desh ke khilaf yudh ka doshi hai, apradi hai. Aur Ajmal Kasab ko Pakistan, jo ki atangwaad ki factory hai, usme paida kiya gaya. और उस आतंकवाद की फैक्ट्री ने भारत के खिलाफ युद्ध के लिए भेजा अफसोस की बात है कि इस देश के खिलाफ जिसने जंग का ऐलान किया और बहुत से बेगुनाहों की हत्याएं हुई उस वो अभी तक जो है वो सुरक्षित है कोर्ट के निर्णय के बावजूद भी उसे फांसी और सजा नहीं मिल पाई है हमारी तो राष्ट्रपति जी से मांग होगी कि इस देश के दुश्मन को तत्काल जो भी उसने मर्सी पिटीशन किया है उसको तत्काल रिजेक्ट किया जाना चाहिए The Shiv Sena and the MNS are expected to form an alliance to contest the municipal corporation polls in Nanded with the blessings of none other than Bal Thackeray, a move that is likely to put the already weakened BJP on the back foot in its dealings with the Shiv Sena. The first impact of the new Nanded equation will be on the working of the Bihran Mumbai Municipal Corporation, where the ruling alliance of Shiv Sena BJP has already seen some turmoil because of the tough stand the BJP has been adopting of late on certain issues. If the MNS joins hands with the Shiv Sena BJP insiders say that the party will have to let the Shiv Sena have its way or risk being sidelined, maybe even thrown out of the alliance. MNS and Shiv Sena, yeah. they, they are part, they are branch of the same tree. Huh? Their policies are one. Mm -hmm. huh? so there is nothing to be afraid of it. We are Ravaj not worried about it. We, uh, we have always faced these kind of forces. Again, uh, Congress and NCP will face them unitedly. Meanwhile, the Telangana Rashtra Samiti party sources say that a merger with the Congress may be on the cards. They added that the merger was a precondition for the granting of their separate statehood demand. Sources in the center said that the government reportedly wanted the TRS to join it before it considers taking up the matter, adding that the Congress was likely to call an all-party meeting. TRS chief K. Chandrasekhar Rao has been campaigning in the national capital for the past one week demanding a solution to the Telangana activist separate statehood demand and sources say that concrete steps are expected before the 30th of this month. Accusing the Congress of misleading the people on the issue of Telangana, BJP said that the ruling party should make its stand clear on the issue. BJP spokesperson Prakash Davirkar said that by not taking a final decision, the Congress is betraying the sentiments of people who have fought for a separate Telangana state. Congress has to spell out what is their stand. We have made our stand very clear. We are pro-Telangana. We want separate Telangana to be established because we believe that two Telugu-speaking states of Telangana and Andhra will coexist peacefully and progress rapidly. Moving on, affirming his views on not forming a political party, social activist Anna Hazari said that floating a political outfit by his associate Arvind Kejriwal would mean taking a different path to reach the same goal of corruption-free India. Hazari, however, added that if Kejriwal's party fielded candidates of clean character, he would support them in the elections. The anti-graft crusader said that he was going to hold a series of meetings with like-minded people, as even if he did not enter electoral politics, there was a need to determine the direction of his movement and send good people to parliament. People उनको साथ में लेकर पूरे देश में लोक शिक्षा लोक जागृति का काम करो तो मैं उनको भी कहा अगर आपको पार्टी निकालना निकालो आप इलेक्शन लड़ाना लड़ाओ जब मैं देश में लोगों को जगाऊंगा संसद में जाने वाले अच्छे चारित्रशील लोगों को खोज करके जगाऊंगा जनता ने चयन करना उसका उसमें अगर आप भी कई लोगों का चयन करते हैं उसको हम देखेंगे 
अगर वो सही है तो हम उसको भी सपोर्ट करेंगे The Maharashtra government has given its consent to the Anti-Corruption Bureau to conduct an inquiry into the corruption charges against senior minister Chagan Bhujbal. The ACB had sought permission to conduct a probe in a letter to the additional chief secretary on the 18th of July following allegations by BJP le leader Kirit Somaya that Bhujbal misused his official position to award contracts for the Maharashtra Southern Building in Delhi to firms owned by his relatives. Bujbal who belongs to NCP holds the public works portfolio. Incidentally the home department is headed by RR Patel who also belongs to the NCP. So now the short break for now stay tuned to the other end.